Watch you guys, got another product review. This is the Red Key USB kit. Now this contains one Red Key USB data erasing device, one Blue Key, which is a 16 gigabyte flash memory, and also we've got an instructional manual and accessory pack in here. So this is what you're gonna get inside your kit. And uh, this is gonna be used for whether you are selling your computer, whether you're giving it away, whether you're recycling it, or, or anything like that, you can use this kit to erase all the data on uh, that drive. Now, we all know that data on drives don't get erased correctly when you just format. So using something like this is gonna allow you to obliterate all that data to stop people from uh, using data recovery software or methods to get that data back. So let's take a look what you get inside the kit. You can see here, this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get your user manual and three keys inside here, red, blue, and green. You also get a couple of ribbons and stickers, which are the blue and red ribbons there, which will allow you to put the key around your neck. Now the red key is going to allow you to simply wipe the drive clean and uh, stop people from using any sort of data recovery software or method to recover the data on that drive. Now this could be sensitive data like banking details, documents, uh, emails, uh, photographs, uh, holiday photographs, videos and stuff like that. So if you want to erase all that data permanently and securely, then this method is the way to go. Now, again, these are pretty easy to use. They've made it so you just plug it in and you can pr press the start button and away you go. It's that simple. So even the uh, beginner could use this particular type of uh, device to erase data and also install Windows. So the red key is this one here. It's a uh, pre uh, done so you just need to plug this into your computer these little stickers uh, rubber foam stickers will pull off and you just put these into a USB slot change your uh, boot order and you can either go into the BIOS and I'll show you how to do that in the BIOS or you can just press F12 or F11 on your keyboard when you're booting the computer up and uh, select uh, the uh, red USB key whatever it's called there now the blue key is going to be used to uh, put on Windows 10 or Windows 7 or whatever version of Windows you've got here and this is going to allow you to uh, reinstall Windows after you've wiped the drive so if you're keeping them a system you can uh, wipe the system clean and then reinstall Windows here okay now it's advisable uh, to back up all your data as well before you do any of that and also the green key is used for that as well and it gives you uh, different sizes there now the user manual is going to have all the information on the index here which you can use and uh, also it's got the end user license agreement here which is four pages of it and also some important information here which I'd advise you to read that is the blue key information here for preparing uh, an operating system and it shows you how to create a bootable uh, USB flash drive with Windows on it now in this case it will be Windows 10 because everyone's on Windows 10 it's got the nice Nice little uh, license key area here which you can use to write down your license key and it shows you in pictures on how to do this now also the green key does show you uh, some uh, backup preparations here that you can take by OneDrive and using that as well and I've got the 128 gig version and it allows you to back up all that information to there which is pretty nice and useful uh, to use and I'll probably show you that in another video we're going to concentrate on the red key here which is going to be to securely erase any data on that drive so whether you're giving the computer away to uh, a stranger or whether you're giving it to a charity or, or a school or some sort of uh, uh, recycle place or something like that then you need to either remove the drive and keep it and destroy it or you need to use a key like this to erase all the data and what this is going to do is allow you to use some sort of overwriting method like Gutterman or Dodd or something like that to overwrite the drive with zeros ones uh, different types of characters to completely obliterate any data that is on that drive you can also use this on Mac as well and I think you can use it on Linux I need to check that out but this is some of the uh, pictures that you're going to see and I'll show you a full uh, video on how to erase your data using this key as well and I'll show you how to use this red key a little bit later on in the video now also in the kit you're going to get yourself uh, some ribbons which you can put around your neck which hold the key on them you can tie the key onto these so you don't lose them and again who would want to use these PC repair shops home users businesses 
uh, anyone like that could use a set of keys like this to uh, you know erase data reinstall windows and also backup data very very useful and uh, I'll just quickly show you what's inside here so you can see and we do have a ribbon in here which will attach to the blue key as you can see here so before I show you how to use the uh, red key we're going to take a look at uh, the products that they have to offer and what the pricings are so you can see we do have a red key on its own here which is £69.99 this is going to allow you to erase data on that device and uh, you may be thinking that's quite a lot of money uh, to erase data well it just depends on how much you value your privacy and also uh, whether someone gets hold of uh, documents like uh, banking details and stuff like that now also the blue key which is 19 pounds and 99 pence which is for a 16 gigabyte key which is going to allow you to reinstall windows the green key which is 64 gigabytes but they also do a 128 gigabyte version and that's 29 pounds and 99 pence so you can see here the 128 gigabyte version is 49 pounds and 99 pence and you have a kit here as well uh, which is 118 pounds and that gives you a red key a blue key and a 64 gigabyte key which is your green key and you also have this kit which is the one they sent me which is the uh, red key the blue key and 128 gigabyte green key for backing up data and stuff like that and I'll show you that in another video now before we get on to showing you how to use this I just wanted to clear a few things up just so you don't think I'm misleading you so do you actually need to use a product like this and the answer to that is no you do have options available and I'll go through some of those right now and I've created videos on those so if you do want to uh, keep the drive yourself which is the cheapest option you could take the drive out and put it in as a, an external drive and use that as storage external storage that way you are keeping the drive and get rid of the computer without the hard drive or you can destroy the hard drive by drilling holes into it and I've made videos to show you how to do that as well or use some sort of belt sander or sand in to sand the platters down and that will destroy any sort of data on there as well now also um, there is an option of using free software which is another option available but if you're not sort of computer savvy then that can be a bit more um, technical and harder to do and this simplifies the uh, process now also another thing to take into consideration is the amount of time it takes now the more complex of uh, alg algorithm that you use like Gutterman 35 passes will determine on how long it takes to actually wipe the drive this will take many many hours okay so let's take a look how to use the red erasing key first you'll need to plug in the red key into your USB port here and then restart your computer and then start tapping on keys either F1 F2 escape delete or F12 to enter your BIOS or UEFI once you're in there hit the settings button and then hit boot inside the main BIOS boot screen here you can see we have the boot mode selected legacy plus UEFI by default it may be set to UEFI and you can change this to either legacy plus UEFI like I'm doing here which makes it easier to boot to now you need to change the boot option one to your USB flash drive which in this case would be the red key but you'll see it says SanDisk here but yours would say uh, red key in there or whatever uh, name that would be called. Now go into the advanced tab and then USB configuration and uh, inside here you can see the USB configuration I've also set mine as legacy USB support enabled and we can now say save yes and we can press F10 to save and exit. Now this is changing the BIOS boot order. You can also change the boot order without changing all the BIOS settings by pressing F12 and do that and select your boot uh, drive, which will be the red key USB. And uh, once you've done that, you'll get this screen here, which allow you to click on start now. And this will go ahead and start wiping the drive. If you want a few more advanced options, you can see here, here is the advanced options we've got the method set to random uh, by default and you can change this to scramble 101 and also you can change these to uh, all different types of algorithms where it will overwrite the drive like dodd and bsi there's loads of them inside here gutterman and uh, some of these are very very uh, 
long processes. So bear that in mind, 33 random pass method. Uh, so that is probably a bit overkill, uh, so, but they're there as an option and uh, you can use them. So this is just zero in the drive and you've got round one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on up to 1000 there and infinite. Now, obviously, if you was doing that on this drive, it would literally take forever if you had it on infinite. And uh, if you had it on round one, it will do one complete pass uh, using whatever method that would be, say 35 passes like Gutterman or something like that. Now, also you can see here, this now starting to gather information uh, to start wiping the data on the drive. Now, obviously the less of the uh, process that you select, round one and also zero in would be the quickest and some of the more higher methods which would be you know 35 overwrites to the drive uh, which is probably a bit overkill to be honest with you uh, uh, dodd is pretty good uh, you've got three and seven passes nsa and stuff like that they're pretty uh, standard uh, if the military are using it and also the government are using it then it's going to be pretty good for you anyway that's about it for this video. That is the Red Key USB. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope this one's been helpful to you. Don't forget, uh, if you are interested, I'll leave the link in the video description. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.